Author Jay Chang's debut novel, The Wangs vs. the World, was chosen as one of Amazon's best books of 2016. NPR called it unrelentingly fun, but it's also raw and profane. A story of fierce pride, fierce anger, and even fiercer love. And Jane is the winner of the 2017 VCU Cabell First Novelist Award that will be presented this evening. We welcome Jay Chang to Virginia this morning. Good morning and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. This book came Came out in October of last year so you've yes. kind of been living this for the last year what's that yeah, ride been like for a first trips. novel it's been really amazing I feel very lucky that the novel has gotten such a kind of warm reception and it's been just so fun to be able to travel to different places and talk to all these different groups of people yeah it's been really great a lot of the reviews talk about the humor and the fact that it's funny mm -hmm. and one of your characters in the book is a stand-up comedian yes are you inherently funny <laughs> <laughs> that is a hard question to answer um, I like to think that I'm very funny but I guess it would be up to you know the people around me uh, but I do I've always loved stand-up comedy I think that any novel is kind of wish fulfillment mm -hmm. and I probably wrote a stand-up comedian character because I secretly would love to be a stand-up comedian. Because you wrote some of the routines as well. I, I wrote them all, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, because it's your book, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Tell mm -hmm. us, what is the basic story? Because this is kind of mm -hmm. like a family road trip, but it's a family road trip with a purpose. This is right. not a vacation. Right, yeah. So it's set in late summer of 2008. The family loses their fortune. The, they had come to America and made a fortune in the cosmetics industry. But now that the American fortune is gone, the father wants to go back to China and reclaim the land that the communists stole from his family, you know, back in the World War II Communist Revolution era. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's actually a trip across the United States, and it's the father and stepmother pick up their children along the way. And, and they're headed off to see the, uh, the, one of the daughters. They're headed off to, uh, to upstate New York. So mm -hmm. it goes through, kind of down through the Southwest, through Texas, through the South, through Alabama, and then all the way up to New York. I just wanted to yeah. read the first couple of lines because okay. that really sets the, the scene for the yeah. book. It says, Charles Wang was mad at America. Actually, Charles Wang was mad at history. And that kind of sets the whole tone for the book, doesn't yes. it? Yes, thank you, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it really, you know, for a lot of, I think we're in this kind of era where we're seeing the real after effects of World War II, of, of what has happened, you know, with, with our entire world since then, and someone like Charles who, you know, whose family is from mainland China, who grew up in Taiwan, who then immigrated to America, he is really kind of looking back on history and seeing how he's kind of gotten screwed along the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And for first novels in particular, a lot of mm -hmm. times we write what we know. Any mm. of your family reflected in the, in the characters in the book? Well, we've never had a cosmetics fortune to lose, <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, I, I think that the worlds that the children are in, so there's three essentially adult children. The oldest daughter is uh, kind of an art world it girl who has a disgrace in the book, but um, I think a lot of my friends are in that world. I was a reporter for a while, and I reported on the world of art and design, so kind of gotten to be a part of that. Um, I think also the family backstory is similar to my family backstory. Both of my parents have, uh, their families are both from mainland China, and kind of they had a similar pattern of immigration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tonight's a big night for you. you yes. You're accepting the VCU Cabell First yeah. Novelist Award, uh -huh. um, and you were chosen, I understand, from over 100 entries, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's And the, the evening mm -hmm. is very interesting because not only will you be talking and reading from the book, you've brought your editor with you, yeah. and you're going to talk about the book process. What's yes. that like? It's my editor and agent, oh, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to that because so many of these events, it's just me up there, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, what's the process like, or what's the... Uh, what, what, what are you expecting out of the uh, night? You know, because people yeah. will probably have questions about, you know, this, is your, this was your first novel. How did right. you get it done? Right, And how right. did you get it published? Yeah, I think it'll be really interesting to be able to kind of go through that process mm -hmm. um, for, you know, MFA students and other people who are interested in publishing a book. But it's been, it's been a, I've had a... A pretty exciting ride. It's been a good story, definitely. Absolutely, and, mm -hmm. and this is the first novel. Is the second novel coming? 
Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. It took, me, it took me five years to write this one. Hopefully it won't take quite as long to write another one. But you've got one in there. You won't yeah. be the one and done. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Oh, so Jade, so yes. nice to meet you, and congratulations you again on the award. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. The annual VCU Cabell First Novelist Awards is tonight in the Cabell Library Lecture Hall on the campus of VCU. The free program begins at 7 o'clock. If you'd like to go, you can, but you do need to pre-register. We'll put a link to details on our website at wtbr.com slash VTM. A big thanks again to Jade, and congratulations.